gosh, this just got a bit dark. Vampire Diaries is getting intense. Whoa. Oh, I just spilt my translucent powder all over the floor. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back for a really exciting video. Um, I can't, I can't, I cannot believe I'm filming this. I honestly can't. Today I have done a tutorial. I have done my eye makeup and I also showed you guys just my kind of base. I never ever do that, so it's a little bit different for me. But I'm really excited because today's video is going to be all about the Jordan Lipscomb Beauty Bay collaboration. I just can't. Before we get into the video, if you guys are not already subscribed, please go ahead, hit the subscribe button. Also, be sure to check me out on my socials. I'll leave a link to my Instagram and my Twitter below. Um, and yeah, check out some of my other content. I'm going to be vlogging tonight. I'm actually going to the official launch of the palettes, which... I just cannot get my head around. Um, so that's going to be an upcoming vlog. So I hope you guys are excited for that video. I have actually never met Jordan myself, but I speak to her on Instagram. She seems like such a lovely girl. I was lucky enough to be sent this in PR, which... What? Like, what? Um, I just can't believe, like, really, really crazy. I don't even tend to kind of review a lot of beauty products. really exciting for me because I actually love beauty and I love makeup and I want to bring that to my channel a bit more. I will leave a link below to where you can get hold of this. Um, this video is going to go out I think the weekend that the palettes have been released so they should be out. This is what I got. So today I use this palette mostly. So this is the golden copper tone palette. I'll start by talking about this one really quickly. This is just called Fuego which I love. Jordan does a much better kind of explanation over on her channel so I'll leave a link to that video below but this is just so me like so me these copper tones they're absolutely gorgeous comes with the little card with all the names again i will leave a link below to what i exactly used on my eyes today um i was just going to use one palette but i couldn't help and go into this other palette so you just have like a pull out sleeve for those of you who are wondering and then it is just a square palette with the embossed kind of like b on it because this is in collaboration with beauty bay and then again you're getting a little eyeshadow palette so i actually went between this one and the fuego palette this is the only one that i haven't dived into yet but this just looks beautiful as well i really like that she went for something a bit different she did kind of some green tones which i really rarely use and i quite like that we see a lot of the same kind of eyeshadow palettes coming out at the moment so i'm loving that she did something a bit different with this palette each of these palettes resell for 20 pounds and they will be, will be available on the Beauty Bay website starting from the 27th of September. Um, I managed to create one of, the, one of the nicest eyeshadow looks. I'm so lazy now, I never do eyeshadow, but tonight has really inspired me to get back into it. I hope you guys like this kind of get ready with me slash tutorial and review of me kind of using the product. Um, I never film this sort of video, so it's definitely new for me, but fingers crossed you all like it. I am gonna get myself ready because I'm late and get my ass on the train to go to the launch of the event. I'm sure you guys will see it over on my Instagram. I'll probably be Instagramming the night Way, but I'm really excited. Um, thank you so much to Jordan for sending me this PR package and Beauty Bay. I'm never ever sent kind of amazing PR packages like this, so it's really really amazing for a much smaller YouTuber like myself. Thank you to all of you guys for watching, and let's just get on with the tutorial. Okay, guys, so I've tried to zoom you in as best that I can to my eye. We've already done this eye, and I am obsessed with the eyeshadows. I'm gonna start by setting my eyelids. I actually like to use a really light concealer to do this, so I'm gonna go in with the Collection Concealer in the shade Fair. And I literally just pop this all over my lid and then I just blend it in with a beauty blender and set it with some Laura Mercier powder. I promised myself that I was only going to use one palette to create this look but I could not resist kind of trying out some of the other shadows so I've gone between two palettes. So sorry. So I'm going to start out with the Fuego, hope I'm saying that right palette, and we're going to take this as the transition shade. I love that these palettes have a mirror, guys. It's revolutionized my life. I can actually sit here and do a tutorial. I'm taking that kind of warm tone and I'm just putting that in the crease and just blending back and forth. I'm then gonna take that incredible orange shade that you can see here. And I'm only gonna take the tiniest amount because the, the brushes pick up so much product, which is really nice because I like a pigmented shadow. So I'm just gonna pop this again into the crease and just sort of blend it out. You, it's quite a vibrant orange, uh, so you just wanna kind of soften that out and make sure you really blend it with that transition color. And I took this incredible yellow shade and I just popped that above this transition that we've got going on just to add a bit more. Just wanted it a bit different. I never use these kind of colors, so I really wanted to test it out today and be a bit different with my with my makeup. I'm going to go in with a little tapered brush like this and I'm going to take the copper 
colour and this kind of matte brown and mix the two together. And I just sort of pop these on the outer corner of the eye. Like so. Just sort of blend them in. Create a bit more depth to the eye. Then taking a little bit of that burgundy into the inner corner of my eye. <laughs> Softening that out with my brush. Going back in with my concealer and I'm just going to use this in the center of the eye because it's gone quite dark there because of the other colors that we've popped on and then I'm going to take a little round flat brush like this and just sort of pack it out. I'm going to grab a flat shader and I'm going to go into this beautiful copper color which is I think my favorite color in the palette but I'm going to spray a little bit of Mario Badescu spray Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. Can you see this? This is like actual copper, like a sheet of copper. This colour is gorgeous. I never ever do dramatic eyeshadow and I miss it so much because when I do it, I just love it. Like, Okay, now onto the skin. I would not typically film my skin. I would keep this to the eyes and then show you guys, you know, my hair and stuff. But because I never do that, I think it's about time I did a proper, like, makeup tutorial. I'm going to start out with this incredible product by Becca. One of my all-time favourite products. It is on the pricey side, but this is just one of those things I have in my makeup bag that, for me, is worth the money. So I'm going to take the tiniest amount of this on the back of my hand. You do not need a lot, so like that. And I'm going to basically apply this to the high points of my face. So the tops of the cheekbones, like so. And this is underneath my foundation. I've got nothing on the skin. Tiny bit on the nose, a little bit here. Um, but focusing most of the product just here. I'm going to go ahead and use a concoction of... Um, foundation because that's just what I do. I'm going to use a little bit of the Maybelline Superstay and then to kind of dilute it a bit and make it a bit less heavy I'm going to use a bit of the L'Oreal. So I'm just mixing my foundations together. Now I'm going to pop on a little bit of the L'Oreal concealer. You guys know this is literally my favourite concealer. It's not too light you know I hate that kind of concealer that is just so so light under the eye this is in the shade 3n and I just I really enjoy this concealer my contour I'm using the MAC concealer in match it's called the match master concealer in 7.5 and guys I've heard that this is being discontinued anyone that has any insider info can you let me know because I've bought a few backups because I heard it was being discontinued but I don't know, I haven't done my research. So I like to contour my forehead quite a lot because I have quite a large forehead. So I'm gonna pop that on there and then I just go in like this. I personally like this, it's more of a warm toned contour. So if you prefer an ashy contour, you might not like this. I like it just because I prefer using cream products. I like dewy skin, I like anything kind of creamy. That's why I like that Becca product so much. So I'm gonna blend this in with the other side of my beauty blender. I'm gonna set under the eyes a little bit. Going in with Matt Gimme Sun on this Real Techniques brush. And I'm just gonna kind of, I guess, go over the contour, but also warm my face up quite a bit. So I'm gonna grab my powder, my beauty blender, and I'm just gonna put it on the end of the beauty blender. I'm just gonna pop it down here to kind of keep that contour, which I never used to do this, but I think it looks quite nice, so. Okay guys, so I accidentally started this one, completely forgot to turn the camera on, so I'm sorry. What I did is I just grabbed this brush from before and I went in with some of the shades that we used on my top lid. So again, just that orangey shade and that transitional. And then I'm gonna grab a little bit of the yellow and just kind of blend those colors out a bit under the eye um, and just kind of blend it out here so it's a bit softer. Then went in with Max Smolder Pencil and just run this in my waterline. Then I just grab this MAC concealer and I literally just ran this ever so lightly over my lower lashes, which seem to have hidden today. Not that I am blessed in the eyelash department anyway. Then I just went into this highlight shade in this palette, mixed with a little bit of the highlight shade in the other palette, and I just pop that in the inner corner. For the rest of my face, I'm going to take Life's a Peach Blush and just apply this on the apples of my cheeks. Dust that kind of baking away. Lastly, I'm going to grab my highlighting brush and go back in with the 
Fuego palette and we're going to take this shade here. Oh my god. <laughs> that is so pretty. <gasps> How nice is that guys? Oh my god. I didn't think that I was going to like the highlighter as much as I'm doing on the skin. It's really really nice. In the pan it looks a lot more sparkly than when it goes onto the skin. Which is nice. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and sort my hair out and then I will come back and kind of do my lips and give you guys a review on the palettes and what I think. Okay guys, so this is the finished tutorial. I just went ahead and clipped in my Foxy Locks extensions, which I'll leave a link below to the ones that I use and the colour. Um, I'm not an affiliate with them, so I don't have a discount code, but if you Google like Foxy Locks, dis Foxy Locks discount codes, loads of people have them, and I think you get 10% off your order, I want to say. I might have made that up, but um, I've bought these extensions like four times. They're just my absolute favourites. On my lips, I have got NYX Lip Liner and then a MAC Dazzle Glass Lip Gloss which is this one here, and it is in the shade um, Ice Dream, and it's beautiful. I forgot how much I love MAC lip glosses. So I'll leave a link to that below. I am just wearing this shirt. I'm sure you guys will see what I'm wearing over on my Instagram. I've got a bit of the um, Bondi Sands kind of shimmer product on, which you know how much I love. And then I just teamed this white shirt with this belt from... Uh, this belt is from River Island and I've got like a Miss Pap lace bodysuit on so that is my outfit That is my hair. That is my makeup. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video Don't forget to go ahead and hit subscribe below go and check me out on my socials and I'll catch you all in my next one. Bye guys